Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. So, today we're talking about acrylic, some two-tone acrylic, which can make your life so much easier. Many of you saw my last video where I uh, showed you how a diode laser, we can finally use acrylic, we can use it really well. It's really making it hard to buy a K40, you know, a small CO2 uh, or desktop laser these days because you can do acrylic. So what is there left that, you know, be a below 60 watt uh, CO2 laser that you can't do with a diode? There are some things, but it's it's getting pretty slim pickings. So yeah, in the last video, I was making keychains and you... And, to make them two-tone, I had to, you know, leave the paper on and then paint it and then weed. And it, it's very difficult to get little O's, you know, to get the paper, the tape off the O and the small E's and things like that. It really makes it to where it's not worth it. I mean, you just, in bulk, you just can't do it and, and be able to say if you want to make money making keychains and different things like that. This is where the two-tone really, really comes in. Instead of trying to um, worry about paint and dealing with all that sort of thing, you could just etch that right into it. And here I'm going to show you on the screen some of the things that I did today and how well they came out. And it's just so easy. And when it comes out of the laser, you wipe it off and it's done. And it works really, really well. So highly recommend. It's not that expensive. Definitely, you can make a large profit on doing uh, some different things uh, with the acrylic. Something I really missed, but I just didn't want to go out and uh, spend the money. And I didn't have the space to have a large CO2 laser so that I could do acrylic. Now, I, I, before I get into that and uh, show you the rest of it, I, I do have a question. I have a couple of questions. Now, I reached out to Craft Closet. You know, I'm a big fan. And uh, I actually reached out because I wanted to try this uh, faux leather because, you know, I, I have a really popular SVG on, for light burn um, on Etsy. And I, you know, hey, I want people to be able to make it out of fake leather if they want to, but uh, I'd never tried that. And I wasn't sure that uh, faux leather would be laser safe. So they have a laser safe faux leather and I have it right here. So I'm going to work with that and I'm going to make sure that uh, we can use that to make a great wallet out of that. That was not my question, but I hope you're really ready for that. Now, they also sent me this. Now, again, I asked them to send me the faux leather, but they just sent me this two-tone acrylic. Maybe they watched my video. And they also sent me this. It's really cool. It's like, uh, here, what do, they, what do they call this thing? They have a couple of different ones, but it's a barn wood. It's a very thin basswood with a print on it. Pretty neat. I could see how it would make a really good like floor for a project. Probably some of you need something like that. Um, but for me, I, you know, I make all kinds of things, but I just haven't figured out, okay, what should I make with this? So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. So uh, I, I will actually take your suggestion. I will make that and that will be part of my video. But back to what we're talking about with the acrylics. So you probably saw in my last video that there are a variety of acrylics that you can now use on your diode laser. If you went to Craft Closet and you went to their homepage, you can go right to Diode Laser Catalog, and then you can go to Acrylics, and it will show you all of these different acrylics. And uh, pretty much all of them worked. Uh, I had trouble with the Obsidian Stardust, but other than that, they uh, all the ones that I had worked really well. But I would say this two-tone acrylic actually works better. It actually cuts easier. Um, I will show you my settings. So here we are in Lightburn, 
And you can see I have a 36 watt Acer, so I'm very blessed. Yes, I know the thing works so well. But as you can see, I have a multi up top and a cross hatched, and I'm doing it at 10,000 millimeters per minute at 100% power and cross hatched. And then I have a line also that's uh, 5,000 millimeters per minute. And that seems to work really well. I'm sure I'll pop up a picture of the final product here. And it's, it's super clean, super clean. And I cut it out at 400, well, I'll turn that off, 400 millimeters per minute uh, twice at 100% power. And it cut it super clean, uh, no problems there. I probably could lower the power, but that just, it worked. So I'm just going to leave it because I know it works and it's clean anyways. And it's, there's no uh, melted edges or any kind of problems there. So pretty much any 10 water above, I'm guessing you'll be able to cut through this. And that's pretty neat. It's pretty neat to be able to just make, you could make, <laughs> I don't know, a hundred of these in a day, probably. Uh, so that's a, that's a good thing to have in your arsenal. It looks like they have, I, what I used, and you can see here uh, in the picture, I have the jet black, I have the orange, whatever they call it, and I have the lemon yellow, and this must be the white on clementine two-tone, <laughs> which uh, the clementine looks amazing. I think it's perfect for keychains. The black and white I used, uh, it works really well for these little signs that I have here. Uh, the yellow, though, it, as you can see, is not a ton of contrast there. So depending on what you're doing, if you're making something, the sun's going to shine through the back and, you, you know, you want to have that bright yellow look, it's perfect. But if you're looking to cover the back and have some contrast, it's really not very contrasty. But uh, the orange and the black, loving it. I would certainly love to try the green and the red and the blue. So once I uh, get going, I will definitely be purchasing these and uh, making my cord chains and keychains and other things that I haven't been able to make. Now, I would like to see this, uh, you know, the interesting thing is that this is white. And so here, I'll show you, you know, the front is white. And I would think, wow, it's a diode laser. It always has trouble getting through white. But for whatever reason, it cuts through it like butter. No problems at all. So I cannot tell you why. It's a shiny white. It should be difficult. I don't know. Would I, I'd love to see it, this is a tape backside, and then it's just um, whatever color you buy. So this, this one will be jet black on the back. It would be nice to see ones that have that white on both sides, so that if you want to make a keychain that's dual-sided, that you could do that. I don't know if that's possible, um, or if that's already out there, I don't know, but I do a lot of two-sided things, so... My cord chains, my keychains, I want to be two-sided. I'd say that's about the only negative of it. I couldn't believe how well it worked. So I give this a high, highly, highly recommend. I don't say that very often, uh, but I, if you know what you want to do and you need something two-tone, rather than trying to paint it or put something inside, just get this. It worked so much better and it's a blessing that diode lasers have come so far and the materials for them are so good. And uh, I highly recommend this. So that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to keep it nice and short on this one. Uh, but hey, give me any questions. Give me any thoughts. Um, like, subscribe and all that. And I will see you in the next one. All right. Love y'all.